Welcome back to Nin Nin Day 2. Hey, Kikyo? I call up Kikyo's name in front of the row of fitting rooms and see a hand stick out of one of them. Marichi-san, kochi desu. Guided by the hand, I approach the fitting room. Have you finished cha- Whoa! Stretched out hand grabs onto me and pulls me into the fitting room. Don't pull me like that without war- Ning. Once inside, I see a half-changed Kikio. Let's see if we can get a picture of that. Oop, wrong button. Idiot, call me when you're finished changing. I panic and avert my eyes, trying to escape the room quickly. Capturing my wrist, she pulls me in again, calling me back into the fitting room once more. It's obviously going to be cramped for two people in the already narrow space of the fitting room. On top of that, the walls are lined with mirrors, so I can't avoid looking at Kikio's naked flesh without it, without, whether I want to or not. I mean, she got... You're fine. I don't think that's the problem. Kikio is trying to get into her outfit using a process of trial and error. Parts of it are removed and hanging off of her body, which are oddly erotic. At least I'm managing to keep my wits about me compared to the time I accidentally saw her naked before. You don't have to state the obvious. I wish she'd stop because she's only making me more aware of her current state when she talks like that. What if I happen to see Kikyo's side and breast out of the big notches? Oop. No, 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 I've got to stop this train of thought. This is no time to be salivating like this. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good reference, but how about taking a look at this? I check out how to wear the Shrine Maiden outfit on my phone and show it to Kikyo. Kikyo takes the phone from me and starts looking at the screen in her half-changed state. Don't look, don't look. Exactly, I must be the embodiment of calm. There's nothing else I can do but that. I decide to close my eyes and wait for Kikyo to finish changing. Next, next to Kikyo, who practically skipping, I'm battling a body overcome with exhaustion. It's likely that only a few minutes had passed since I went into the fitting room, but for me it was, felt like hours. The blame for my weariness lies entirely in the female ninja walking beside me. If I let my guard down even slightly and open my eyes, her entire unladylike appearance fills my vision. No, even if I keep my eyes closed, I hear nothing but the sound of clothes sliding against skin. Rather than trying to suppress my desires, it feels more like I'm fighting with my own sanity itself. It looked good on you, you know. I meant those words for myself, but it seems as though Kikyo heard me. She turns around and smiles at me. Well, you really did look the part. It made me think how glad I'd be if... I'd be if a shrine maiden like you really existed out there. So, so <laughs> That's just my honest opinion. The calm and kind image I have of a shrine maiden suits Kikyo pretty much perfectly. Not to mention her great figure and the fact that she's gorgeous. There's no way it won't suit her. Hmm? Oh yeah. She catches me off guard with her question, as I'd be remembering her shrine made an outfit. Hang on, it's my turn, isn't it? 
私の買い物に付き合ってくれたお礼です That was nothing. それでもです It seems that she won't budge on the matter If you don't mind, Kikyo それじゃ今日は何が食べたいか考えておいてくださいね Kikyo is beaming His beaming smile has a beaming smile on her face and looks even more cheerful than before Following after her, I just turned my thoughts to tonight's menu. We finish buying groceries for dinner, and by the time we get to the house, the sun's already set. We're home! Suzu-chan, ただいま When Kikyo and I call out to Suzuran, we hear a frustrated cry in place of an answer. Going into the living room, I see that Suzuran is playing video games. Seeing such a pixelated style of game on a full HD screen TV is such a bizarre scene that it's hard for me to describe. Well, we just happened to get home at the same time. Kikyo, let me know if there's anything I can do with, that I can help with. When I say this to Kikyo, who's putting on all the groceries in the refrigerator, she smiles to me. Yeah, wasn't he? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I guess so. Kikyo is going to make dinner and Suzuran took care of the laundry and cleaning. I don't mind, but what games are we playing? A fighting game, huh? Compared to the fighting games nowadays, there were fewer commands and you could usually manage to mash the buttons haphazardly. Are you really that strong? In your village? I wonder if that's something to brag about. Penalty game? Kikyo nods her head while preparing dinner. I never imagined that ninjas would be into gambling, but hey. They're actually pretty vulgar. We don't have to do a penalty game, do we? <laughs> no, but isn't it a pain to come up with a penalty game? <laughs> when exactly did you become a genius gamer? Whether it's Dark Fallen Angel, Ninja Genius Gamer Girl, or Martial Arts Suzuru, she really loves these double titles, doesn't she? What kind of handicap? No jumps or death blows, huh? With the old games, if she's limited to even one of those, it'll be tough, but it'll be a big help if she can't do either. Then let's do it! Yes! <laughs> You're a sadistic little thing, aren't you? I sit down next to Suzuran, pick up the controller as she makes this declaration. <laughs> I do love the art. 
When did I say I was a beginner? When I try to trick Suzerain into getting nervous, I see her expression stiffen. Your voice is trembling. Your voice is trembling? I wonder. A few minutes later, the first round finishes and the word KO fills the screen. The only lying defeated on the ground, the one lying defeated on the ground is Suzerain's character. All I did was trick you a bit. It's not a joke or a lie, I really am a beginner. All I've done was a tutorial and I have no clue what each character's abilities are. It was only a coincidence that I was able to beat Suzerain. Sure, why not? A few more minutes pass. The second round finishes and the word KO fills the screen. Just like before, the one who tumbled into the ground was Suzerain's character. Shall we give it a rest? That would be nice. One more, a few minutes go by. Once more, a few minutes go by. The third round is over. I had guessed what the results might be, and yes, Suzerain lost. Suzerain? Aren't you a little too terrible at this? <laughs> this is the result of her overflowing confidence at the beginning, along with the bragging about penalty games as well. <laughs> Even without your handicaps, I have a feeling I could win. Suran's style of fighting is undeniably muscle play. She doesn't even bother with the special techniques, simply attacks with the cons consecutive punches and kicks using repeated button mashing. Even if we got rid of her handicap, she'll probably fight the same way. With the way she plays, I'm shocked that she's known for being a skilled gamer in her village. Sure. A few minutes later, the moment the fourth round finishes, Suzerain's screams reverberate throughout the room. What can I say? I'm starting to feel sorry for her. Well, do you want to play this again? No thanks. Whether I receive the title or not, whether exactly am I, what am I where exactly am I supposed to brag about this? So about the penalty game. I haven't really thought of anything. I thought about getting Suzerain to give me some of her side dish, but I smell the scent of curry drifting from the kitchen. There are no side dishes with curry, so there's no way to penalize her. Why would I be naughty? Her voice grows soft and I can't make out a word she's saying. Stop that, please. I wouldn't be able to handle having Suzerain sleep next to me. If I have a girl, and a cute one no less, sleeping next to me, I'll never be able to relax enough to sleep. 
Projecting much? I never said that. The cute ga girl is laying next to me. I'll be t way too nervous to get any sleep. <laughs> Suzerain is all red, all the way to the tips of her ears, and she's hanging her head as if trying to hide it. That's how it is, so there is no there'll be no sleeping together. Still, I can't come up with another idea right away. So then Kikyo props her head out from the kitchen. Huh? Wait. You still have the stove on? Is everything okay? Kikyo pulls some black cloth out of her cloth bundle. I thought it was a ninja outfit that one might see in an anime or manga, but something is different about it. It's quite decorative and a little too flashy to be a ninja costume. Plus, there doesn't seem to be a lot of area that might cover skin. You tried on that outfit too, Kikyo? From Suzuran's reaction, I can imagine that this is not a decent outfit. Oh, this is her getting back. Total revenge. Was it? I have a feeling that something happened before between Suzuran and Kikyo. However, whenever Kikyo smiles, it shines the brightest is when she's the most furious. If I indelicately ask about what happened, I could be in for another lecture. Yeah. Scary when I think about how much anger must be hidden behind that smile. I find myself speechless. I guess so, since I haven't thought of any other penalties. The atmosphere in here negates any possibility of refusal. By the way, I'm evil. This is where we're going to end it. So we are going to see the outfit next time, everybody. So take a guess what it might be. Don't forget to check the links in the description and my other channel, Sinfully Pure. Bye, guys.